Right you guys, got an Anacaso Smart Wi-Fi doorbell review here for you. Now, this is a pretty nifty bit of kit if you want to get some home security on your front door. Now, this is a 720p HD quality uh, remote viewing, remote talkback and also battery operated. Plus, you can run this off of the mains as well uh, with a power adapter and it's got day and night vision. You can get the app from the Apple Store and Android Store comes with some uh, leaflets here as you can see now the batteries will last uh, up to 6 to 12 months depending on how much you're viewing uh, the content here is a, a handy little installation guide where you can click on those QR codes and get the installation guide there these are your wall mounting screws and your locking uh, screw with an allen key so let's take a look at the user manual here this is going to help you set up your doorbell it's very quick and easy if you're going to be running this off the batteries uh, but if you want to do it on the mains then you will have to do uh, a bit of wiring so you can see here the sensor is a quarter inch CMOS sensor 720p 166 degree uh, lens angle uh, you can see five meters at night uh, so Wi-Fi generations are B G and N two-way talking and noise cancelling TF card recording up to 32 gigabytes, two 18650 batteries are included. Also, you can see here uh, motion detection, uh, remote live viewing, 600 milliseconds uh, within uh, device makeup. Also, push notifications within one second. That is really awesome because I did notice it's very quick to respond when you push the doorbell. Now, some of the other devices on the market are not that quick. Now I do like uh, the look and design of this. It looks very similar to the Ring uh, doorbell, but obviously a lot more cheaper. But they do still have some good quality uh, features on here as well. It is your uh, actual camera and your IR uh, infrared sensor. You've got your doorbell here where you push your button and you've got your speaker on the bottom with your locking uh, screw mechanism there so people can't steal it. A very sleek design there. I do like the look of it. And uh, on the back you have your little uh, uh, panel here where you've got your four screws to mount it very simple uh, I've got a rubber mounting around the back here to stop any water getting in the back there as well and uh, you got your little microphone here now the microphone worked very well on this one you do have to turn the volume up a little bit but it worked very well and uh, you, you can get good reception from the person who's talking into it just slide this down here and the back will come off as you can see here there is uh, two screws here this is in case you want to do it uh, wired and you just have to uh, screw it to uh, some bell wire then run that to a transformer and then into a plug if you wanted to do that um, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do you've got your four screws here uh, to mount it to the wall and there is your uh, little reset button here to reset your device there is the connection here this is where you can charge your batteries and you can always get spare batteries if you want to keep it running all the time now if you are going to be doing live feed it will eat into the batteries uh, quite a lot uh, just just remove this back battery uh, panel here so bear that in mind if you are going to be doing live feed continuously you will need to uh, run this on uh, a wired connection and you can use the Byron 776 uh, chime bell uh, transformer included in there it's very easy to set up or you can just buy a little transformer if you want to know which one that is then pop over to my forums and ask over there and I'll link you to uh, those devices which you can use you can see here now I've uh, put, pulled the battery connectors out and you can see there are now flashing as a red ring this is normal get your mobile phone and then install the app you can get this from the App Store and then just install it and you should see the red button flashing there just click on yes it's flashing then it will configure your internet interface here now just look for the uh, to see Wi-Fi click on this and connect okay now sometimes it will say do you want to continuously connect to this I say yes you'll see it up the top pop up there you go it does it on this phone I'm going to stay connected it should be green there go next and then all you need to do here is type in your Wi-Fi password for your Wi-Fi network okay I'm gonna just quickly do that there we go now just go next and it'll ask you to put in an admin password you can put in your own admin password here I've put one in make sure it's nice and strong go next and now all we need to do here is 
give the uh, device a name. I'm going to call it front door or doorbell or whatever you want to call it so you can see it. There we go. You can change this at any time. The light should now go blue, which means you are now connected. Confirm and you are now connected to that doorbell via battery. And once you click on this, you should get connecting and you should see some sort of a video feed here. There we go. And they are now seeing a video feed. Now you've got all your buttons here, volume, playback, uh, scene, full screen, and you can see screenshot, speak. You can speak to the person who's ringing on the door. And you can see here we do have record. Now we are running on the live feed here. This means it's right into your memory card inside uh, the actual device here. When I push the doorbell button, I get an incoming call and I can click on this to answer it and you can, should see the person standing in front of it here. You get a very good display of video. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. You'll get a day and night vision. Now, once you log into your admin panel with your admin password, you get access to a lot of more settings. You can see here, ultra low power consumption, uh, device indicator light, night vision, uh, infrared light, uh, ring uh, volume is in there, length of your video, you want to do it either 15 to 45 seconds, motion detection sensor, intercom volume, uh, total storage, available storage, format your SD card and device information. You can mess with all that inside here with all your settings. You can see here, I'll just quickly show you uh, the length of video. I just wanted it for 45 seconds, so you can just change it inside here. And you can change other things inside here as well. You can actually copy all your content from your phone to your computer by just plugging in your phone to your computer and it will then drag all the content across. Motion detection sensitivity. If you've got this very high and you're in a high traffic area, this will obviously send alerts to your phone. So you may want to keep that low. But as you can see here, this is the actual display from the front door. It looks pretty clear and you can see the motion there. I'll give you a full screen so you can see what it looks like. It looks absolutely awesome. Good enough for any sort of a security camera to pick up any activity out the front. You can run this on a live feed. I have this running on the mains instead of the battery so I can do live feed continuously. And the quality is pretty awesome for a doorbell camera, which is a great security feature for any home. Anyway, that is the Akeso uh, Video Smart Doorbell. Link will be in the video description. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.